Okay. Sorry, I think recording has been stopped. Fine. Yeah. Now, in today's session, we are going to have some more in depth about the Java basics introduction. Means like why Java and the differences between the C, C++, and Java, and the history of Java. Means some more a bit more into this Java history and the futures like how we are going to use those Java futures and the programming format. Yesterday I told you right the small program. What is the complete programming format like from start to end? How we have to write it? Uh, what is the format of what is the style of a Java programming language? Every programming language will have the different uh, style, right? So the like same way, what is a complete uh, Java programming format and what is the Java statements and data types? Screen not visible. Oh, sorry, sorry. No? Yes. Thank you, Seha. Now, uh, this Java statements, what are the Java statements or they we are, we are going to use in Java programming language? And what are the data types you are going to use in this Java programming language? What is this Java statement, data types, programming, programming everything will have some type of questions in your mind, right? Now, I'll explain you clearly and very realistic manner so that after this session, you may have some some more or some bit knowledge about this but when we go into the practical of this we'll definitely have the more hands on with this okay so now we'll, we'll start our session with the why java okay java is a crash platform compatibility and built-in security it is the it is like a highlight of the Java definition, you know, like the popular statement, what the technical, in the technical terms, yesterday I told you, right? It's an object oriented programming language or a platform, like the same way in the technical terms, why it is a Java is popular and what is going by Java means. Java popularity is the cross platform compatibility and built in security. I told you, right? It is very secure because of the you no. Know, concept of pointers, the, the security is very high in this Java programming language. Cross-platform compatibility means like uh, we can share the .exe files from one platform to another platform. Means platform here means the operating system. We can share the .exe files from one type of operating system to other operating systems. That is the reason the major reason why Java is so popular and why we have to prefer only Java. And also, uh, Java program can run on any machine with JRE installed. Any machine means like any system, laptop, with any type of operating systems. That must be have the JRE. Means Java runtime environment should be installed. We are having the JDK and GRE only, then we can able to run the Java programs, right? So we have to be install this JRE in any mission so that the Java program can run on any machine. And it also operates on a various computers, like one EXE file in many type of computers we can execute or we can do such any operations. Java is used in many banks, manufacturer companies, insurance organization, utilities, retailers, so and so, etc. You know, nowadays most of the healthcare domains and the banking sectors and any private business sectors, everyone is preferring this Java only because it is like a more secure and it is also this class, uh, cross platform compatible, right? So it will be very helpful for them to grow their business and everything. So it is using majorly nowadays in any banks and insurance means like a health insurance will be there, right? In such type of organizations, in any business organizations like utilities and retailers, they are going to use this Java. It is the major reason 
why it is ruled by Java. It is a reason that major industries ruled by Java. Because of these reason, because of these main futures, Java is the major industry. That means Java is ruling the total IT, total software. You can see. Yes, definitely I can see that. Because you, in any situation, you can check from past so many years in any recession time on any any time. If you go and search on any job profiles, if you go for one place, normally, uh, if you are aware of any technology, if, if you have the experience of, of minimum four years, then only you'll get a calls. For example, if I go with some so-and-so technology, like you can go for any testing. I, I should not tell that, but I am saying if you go for testing, manual testing. If I'm trying to search for the job of manual testing, definitely I need to have the minimum four years of experience. So then only I will get a calls more. Means if I get a more calls, then only I can able to crack any interview, I can get a job, right? But when, when we choose Java, if you are having the one place of experience also, we'll get in freshers also. I'm not saying that only experience is needed. I'm saying if you after, after the fresher period is done, where if suddenly I'm not interested in particular organization after going to the one years of experience, then I, I wanted to change the organization. Then if you go with the other technologies, definitely we won't have the calls outside the market. If you go with Java, I can 100% actually I can say that with one plus of experience also, Java definitely will have the openings. So that is the reason it is a ruling why the word ruled by java means because in any situation with any experience also we are getting the jobs job is the matter right so that is the reason the word ruled here why you are used okay now you came to know that what is why java is is why we have to go only with the java and the in day-to-day -day our activities in day-to-day -day our lifestyle what are the software technologies we are using that depends on java that is also the factor, okay? Now I'll go with the second point of today's introduction is the differences. You are having multiple programming languages, right? Then why we have to prefer only Java? What are the drawbacks of the earlier programming language? Java, before the Java, there is C. We all know that I'm not saying that C is not a good language. It's a good language. We can, most of the operating systems may also develop it through the C programming language also. But definitely they also have some drawbacks that to overcome that only this Java has been introduced. Right? Now let us discuss in detail about the differences between the C, C++ and Java. What is C, C++ and Java? It is C++ is the middle. C is completely structure oriented. C++ is, is, will have some structure and object oriented and Java is completely object oriented. Java is a completely object -oriented. You can see by this uh, pictorial representation, it is having the futures of C and C++ and the major of this Java is the object oriented. Means I'm not, it is completely object oriented. Why means it's taking the futures of this also. Okay, now let us discuss in detail about this. Okay. Are you able to see this screen? Is it visible? Hello? Am I audible? Anyone respond in chat, please? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Jinnar. Thank you. Yeah. The programming, the what are the metrics means how we can differentiate the each programming language. What are the metrics we are going to following for this? I'll explain you now, okay? C follows the procedural programming language metrics, okay? C is following the procedural programming language. Means definitely they'll have some procedure. We need to go for this. Uh, if you go for the, uh, like this only, it will going to work out, okay? So it is following the procedural language and C++ is object-oriented programming. It's also for, I already told you that right? C++ also uses the object-oriented programming paradigm, but not 
purely means not 100% it is using it is like you can say semi semi object oriented programming paradigm it is using okay and java is completely or we can say purely object oriented it is depends on purely 100% object oriented and the origin it uh, c is based on assembly language okay assembly language means i can say the way the system can understand it depends that means how the c has been developed means what's the technology they used for to develop this c uh, programming language is assembly language uh, when go to the c++ they use the c language because the earlier version of this c++ is c right they used this language to develop c++ and for java it is the java is developed by both c and c++ i told you right because uh, this is this, this pictorial representation it is developed based on c and c++ okay it uses the both one and who developed this c Dennis Ritchie in 1972 he developed the C programming language first and when come to the C++ John Stott Stott in 1979 and in Java it is James Gosling in 1991 and the translator means translator the word itself represent that translate or it is like a mediator who is converting our data means what is this translator needed in this type of programming language definitely uh, the human code what we have written should be understand by the machine right definitely they need to have some translator the translator what the c is using is a compiler and the c++ is also using the compiler but the java is using the interpreted language means the compiler plus interpreter. It is using the both, okay? And platform dependency. C is completely dependent on platform. What is this word meaning platform dependent? Means if you are going to run the C program in Windows operating system, then we have to run that C program again into the Windows operating system only. We can't take that executed file and run into any Linux or Mac or Okay, that is the meaning of this platform dependent. C++ is also the platform dependent. When it comes to this Java, it is platform independent. This is also the main feature why Java is ruling now. Okay, code execution. We can execute the C code directly. Means directly means by the user or by the or the who is a right a programmer as you can see. C++, it is also directly, but when it comes to this Java, it is executed by Java virtual machine. Just we need to run that by the command, it will take care of that. JVM will take care of that execution. Okay, and the approach means how the system is going to take that program. Definitely the, the language should follow some approach. If it is following that approach only, then only system can say, oh, this is following this approach. So I need to follow in this way. How the system may know this is the first line I have to execute. This is the last line I have to execute. Because of the approaches, the programming language is going to follow. Based on that, it is going to execute. What is C is following? It is following the top-down approach. Means from starting to ending. From the, It will like start execution from the first line and ends with the last line. And when it comes to the C++, it is following the bottom-up approach. And in Java also bottom-up approach. File generation. When we execute this C program, it will give the .exe file. When we run any C program, we are going to generate the .exe file. In C++ also same. But when it comes to this Java, we are going to generate the .class file. If you run any Java program in any system, it will generate the dot class file. When we run this command Java C class name dot Java, once you click click on enter button, if we don't have any runtime errors, then it will generate the dot class file. And the preprocessor and directories means the I already yesterday told you right the packages means it defines the which type, which family this class is uh, defined. So, means what are the directories we have to use for this 
programming languages. It support header files. C supports the header files like hash include, hash define, such type of one. When come to the C++, it defines the header and define. When it comes to this Java, it uses the packages. Yesterday I told you, right, package. Like how we are going to use the classes of that package in our program is by using the keyword import, okay? Keywords. Keywords means, I just know I have told that import. What keyword we use to use uh, to import the packages means import. Such type of keywords are there in any programming language. In C, there are 32 keywords. And in C++, 63 keywords. In Java, there are 50 defined keywords, okay? And the data types, what we are going to use in these languages are in C, the supported data types will use like a union structure. And in Java, there are unsupported, not supported data types. Unions and structures doesn't support in Java, okay? Inheritance, there is no concept of inheritance in C because inheritance is an OOPS concept. Yesterday I told you, right? In what uh, in OOPS paradigm, that means what are the OOPS futures means? Like I told you yesterday, like abstraction, encapsulation, polymorphism, inheritance. These four are the main futures of OOPS. So Java, as C doesn't support the no in uh, inheritance concept, Java came into the picture. So C doesn't support the inheritance. When come to C plus plus, it supports the inheritance, and uh, there is one future means uh, multiple inheritance is also supported by C++, but Java doesn't support multiple, multiple inheritance. And in later classes, I'll explain you why Java doesn't support multiple inheritance. Okay, just remember this. And overloading. I already told you, right? Polymorphism of is the OOPS concept. That is called as overloading. The overloading concept doesn't support by C. Support function overloading here. Yeah, the piece, it is supporting the polymorphism. It is supporting one type of polymorphism. And operator, operator overloading is not supported in Java. But when it comes to this C, it supports that. Okay. Pointers. I already explained to you that pointers is concept is came into the picture in C. And it also uses in C, but Java doesn't use the pointer concept. Okay, and how we are going to allocate from memory means using the malloc and calloc methods in C, new and delete methods in C++, and in Java, garbage collector will take care of the memory allocation. No need to specifically specify anything to create or delete any memory in Java. Garbage collection will take care of that, okay? Exception handling, exception, exception handling, exception means the word indicates we are going to have some error. You can, it's a simple, it is not the error, but you had to understood, right? What is the exception means? In a very basic or simple manner, I'm saying this word error, but in real time or in technical term, we cannot say that error, okay? Error is a different thing. Exception is the different thing. Error means the programmer the or the user cannot handle but when come to this exception, it can be handled by the programmer, okay? We can handle the pro uh, exceptions. Means, uh, for example, um, uh, if in a calculator or if you do any calculation, what is uh, 12 by 0 means what we'll get? 12 only that answer, but there is no such type of sense uh, here. So for uh, that is called as uh, divide by zero exception. We can also have numeric exceptions. In the, for example, you all know the concept of array, right? Uh, uh, we are having, wait, I'll tell you. You are having an array of five elements. Array, I think, um, are you able to see my screen? Yes, okay. If you take an array, it is too small. 
And I'm going to access the variable. The any array index will start with zero at position. Means the position of one is zero. It means index, you can say index is zero at one, two, three. Normally we are having the four elements, but how we are going to access the array variables is by the index. So if you go with array of zero means we'll get the value as one. Okay. Like the same way, if you are going to access the array of one means we are going to get the value of two means the index at the at the in array here at the index one what we are having the value the value is two at uh, at array index two what we are having the value it is three at array index three what we are in the value it is value four now we are having the array we defined here and we are having the four values and now i'm trying to access the fourth value here what i will get anyone Anyone, what I will get here? Anything you can say. It may be, yeah, array out of bond exception. Good, Sandhya. Yes, correct. We are getting the exception here. We are trying to access the value of a variable which is not defined in an array. Okay. No, no, not none. Because we, it will throw an exception here because we are going to access the variable of the at index position four. There is no such value here. There is no such type of index also here. So then we won't get any value. So these types of exceptions can be handled by the programmer. Okay, that is the concept called exception handling. And that is not supported by C. But when it comes to the C++, it supports and Java is supported. And templates concept is also not supported by this C. When it comes to the C++ and it is supported, but in Java, it doesn't support. Destructors. First of all, we have to know about the constructors. Then only we can have the idea about these destructors. Constructor means like we have to define any constructor by the same class name. I already explained to you a small example yesterday, right? What is class? For uh, if you are having the class called car, then there should be a one method called car in the same class. That is called the constructor. In detail, I'll explain you in later classes, okay? So the opposite of that is destructor, okay? No such concept of constructor and destructor in C. But C++ supports constructor and destructor. In Java, it doesn't support, but in built it has that. Multi-threading or interfaces. C and C++ doesn't support the concept of multi-threading when it comes to this Java support this. And database connection also, C and C++ doesn't support, but Java support. That the reason, right? Why now so many applications are using this? It means like uh, we are going through the HDFC bank and I told you, right? Any bank or any uh, retailer or any business application, they, how they are giving our data to us? Because there must be storage, right? Where they are going to store. There must be some database where they are storing all our data. And how, well, what is the database? And how we are taking the data from the databases? There should be some connectivity, right? Between our data uh, databases and our Java application. Such type of uh, database connection activities will be performed in this Java, okay? And the storage classes like auto, extern is supported in C. 
and the same in C++, but this Java doesn't support the storage classes. Okay, this is a quick differences, the major differences between the C, C++ and Java. Okay. Now, the history, I told you, right, we'll discuss some more a bit about the history of Java. Uh, I already yesterday explained you a bit about this uh, Java, why, why originally it is designed. It is designed originally for the television purpose, but it was too advanced technology for digital cable at that time. Now we are going to use the setup boxes. Really, right? Uh, in earlier, like when I was there, when I was in childhood, there was no such concept of uh, setup boxes like that. Just we need to have some cable guy will be there. He'll do some wire connection, some antennas will be there. Okay, that there was no such type of uh, digital cable televisions will be there. It was too advanced for that time. The history of, uh, that's the reason why it may convert to internet programming language. And it was started by the green team. I told you, right, the Java team members who developed this uh, Java were called as green team. Why this green team means uh, there were, uh, uh, earlier the Java name was Oak actually, O-A-K. Earlier the Java name used to call as Oak. It is like a tree name actually. So that's the reason why they call us green team. Nowadays it is using as an internet programming language develop in any mobile devices to develop any business solutions and the games. And James causes the team means who are all involved in this Java invention, you know, this James Gosling, this Mike Sheridan, Patrick initiated this Java language program in June, 1991. It is like a Sun Engineers, you know, right? Sun Microsystems. They are all working in this. Uh, this team are working in this uh, Sun Microsystems. This small team has uh, developed this Java, and this team only called as the Green Team. And it is initially developed by James Gosling at Sun Microsystem, which is now subsidiary of Oracle Corporation. Now the Java is owned by the. Oracle Corporation. Earlier it was Sun Microsystem. From when it was uh, owned by this uh, Oracle list in 1995. Uh, in those days, it was the top 10 best products. Java, it was there in the magazine, top 10 best products. Okay. And the JDK first version was released on Jan 23rd, 1996. You may know, uh, you may get a question like that. You are saying that it is invented in 91, but it, the first version was when. They started their invention in 91. When they became successful and when come into the picture to use to everyone is in 1996. After the first release, there have been many additional features added to the languages. Still now they are going to add more and more features. Now the current version they are developed is Java 21. I think, yeah, 20 or 21 is. What are the futures? I mean, I told you, right, it's yesterday. What are the futures of this uh, Java? Like uh, object oriented, it is a simple, secured platform, independent, like means it is portable from one system to another system, one machine to another machine. It's a robust and portable architecture, neutral, it is dynamic. Dynamic means based on the requirement, we can change. It. Means, for example, I got a request like I need to uh, add in my database the 10 employees' data. Means, uh, I started an organization. There are earlier only 10 employees in my organization. So, uh, by using this Java application, they developed one software and uh, they entered the 10 employee data. After that, we hired some more employees and we want to add some more employees, like uh, again, uh, hire 10 more people. And I want to add the data into this uh, application. Then there should be, we need to change that, right? We need to add some more data into the database. It means based on the 
requirement of day-to-day -day activities, if you want to modify or if you want to change some data, it is possible by using this Java programming language that is called a dynamic and it is interpreted and the performance, like I told you, right, multi-threading is uh, supported. Here, the multi-threaded concept is supported, right? Because of this, the performance will be high. You, you know, right, we, we can able to do multiple tasks at a time, means the performance will be more. In some scenarios, it may be reduce the performance also, but in mostly the performances will be high by using this Java. Okay. Why I given the brief means yesterday I have explained you in depth, right? So that the reason I have given some brief knowledge about this. And this Java programming format, I told you, right? Every programming language will have some their own programming style, you can see. Means if you write this, you can able to know, yeah, this is the Java programming language. If you write in other way, like means the C, it is having some other different uh, programming style. So what is the programming style of Java? Means what we have to write first, what we have to write last. Uh, in like, uh, I, here I, I can write this uh, class example. Uh, here I'll write public static void main string right why I had to write class first then main method is there any rule? Yes, definitely. Why we have to follow only this structure means they have defined like that. Like we have to use the class first, then method, main method. Then we can define here some more methods, some like uh, any other methods if you want to define. So there is a structure Java is following. We have to follow that. We have to write any Java code in that format only. Now we'll see this image. First, I'll explain you in detail what all, what is this documentation section, package statement, import, everything. First, let's have a brief introduction here. Then I'll go in there. Documentation section. Document means you are, for example, now I have go, we are going through this uh, session, right? If you want to have some more, and if you have some time, then if you want to go through that, definitely we need to have some document, right? Uh, if you want to uh, go through that subject or anything, like if you are, if you want, why we are going to write this Java program? What is the need of this? What is the functionality of this? So for user friendly. If user want to understand, I, I have I started writing a code today. I'm there in some expanded company. I started writing the code for this functionality. Then after that, I may change my company. It means I leave this company today and I'm going to join into new organization. Then someone may come join in my place. They'll replace me, right? Then he need to understand, right? He is coming from some other company and he is not aware of what I have done work here. So he need to understand. Then we need to have some documentation. Means we need to define why we are going to write this class. What is the use of this? Where we are going to use? Like some any user friendly data will be written in this documentation section. Okay, and package statement. The, I'll explain you in the next slide. What is this package statement? And import statement and interface statement and class definition. Class definition means this is the part where we are going to write this class and class name statement. This is called the class definition. We are defining the class here. After that, we'll have the main method. This is the main method definition. Public static void mean this line. Class definition immediately followed by this main method. The next statement what we are going to write after this class is this one, okay? We can have also have the variables will be defined, okay? But main method is the next one, okay? And this is the main and the 
what actual actual structure of the any java program okay i'll explain you in detail about this documentation section is an important section but an optional for java program it is important why for user friendly but it is optional it is not like mandatory some may think that why i need to do the documentation and some may be in a hurry it is that if you won't write any documentation it won't give any error to the programmer okay but that's the reason why the word here is optional okay it include basic information about a java program means it will give the information about that java code what we have written after this okay thus in what are the information it may include like like others name means who wrote this uh, java code that class that class what we are going to write you know that who is the owner of that or who is the author of that and when we have written that uh, what is the version we have used the program name or the company name something or anything what we can give about that okay it improves the readability of the program you may never it suddenly i already given the example the replacement then after i went he, if the guy comes and i have written everything like i had developed this uh, code to do this functionality it will redirect to this functionality so if you want to do you can propagate to this like this. if i give the proper information in the documentation then the guy who came in place of me he'll able to understand that very easily and it will helpful for him to do his next step next to task easily so it improves the readability of the program to write statements in the documentation we are using single line or multiple line means like in if you want to define any single line comments means like only in one line i had read yeah uh, like sayed kausar has developed this for this purpose only in one line i want to give this means we have to use this double slash multiple lines like uh it is an example we have to define this with hash has tick uh, and start with hash and has tick and close it with has tick and slash like uh, yeah kausar jaha has developed this application for this uh, purpose and i have used this version and uh, it need to be propagated to this one and we are going to create this endpoint or this microservice like something data we have had the huge data or multiple data then that will be commented in this one okay and documentation commented start with the name uh, delimiter and ends with it, this one means if you are going to comment some uh, some may have written the code and i'm the reviewer for that means uh, some my team member has written the code and he sent me for the review and then i need to comment on his code right you have done mistake here you need to be come change this code so the comment uh, what i have to give that will be written in this one okay that is the what is document section means and package one i told you right the package statement the package declaration is optional it is placed just after the documentation section in this it is placed just after the documentation we are defining this package one we we had how we had to declare this package statement is by using the package name in which the class is placed i told you right yesterday like package will have so many classes methods everything okay in order to use a class of that package we are going to define declare that package name they you note one point here only one package statement in one java program okay we have to define means like import is different means we are using that class but package means i'll give an example here um oh, yeah package i can say for mm, java okay i have defined a package called for java and i have written the example class in there okay in any java program like if you are going to create one class then we have to define only one package statement means this core java will have this class and we may have uh, i'll take one more uh, class called java class and here we are defining class example 
okay this core java package will have this example class and example 2 class means the class what are all we are going to define after this will be included in this package so we cannot give like multiple packages here it will give the ambiguity not the ambiguity it won't execute also like we can give like a, a java demo if you give these two packages and uh, and we are giving two classes then how the computer will know that uh, this class belongs to this package or this package so there is no such concept of two packages in one single file okay we have to give only one package for one single file with multiple classes that is the reason here only one package statement in one java program it must be defined before any class or interface declaration okay it must be defined java what is the starting line what we have to do for any java program is the package section only because documentary section will be there but it is optional and also if you want to give it is there is no need that you have to give the first we can give in the middle also so the first statement what we will get in any java program is the package it is necessary because a java class can be placed in different packages and directories based on the module i told you right this class may contain in this package and some other xyz class may contain in any other package also okay for all these class packages belong to a single parent tree. We use the keyword. What is the keyword we are going to use to declare any package name is package. Uh, how we are going to define this user frame, user defined packages or, or uh, already built in also by the keyword called package. We have to use the package keyword after that the package name. In this package name, we are going to have all the classes and we can use those classes classes okay now we are going to use means we have to use the import statement but we are going to declare the classes here i have written here java package java t point i am going to write class called class tutorials okay now the tutorials class is belongs to this java t point if you want to use this tutorials class in some other program then we have to import this package to define this package we are using the package and this one and if you want to use the classes of this package we have to use the import statement okay you understood right everyone is it something boring are you able to hear me understood thank you if anything you are not understood please let me know or just ping me that please admit me if you want to tell orally also i'll give them to tell orally also okay if you are not interested to chat give in a chat also if you want to tell orally then i'll unmute them okay just don't be like that just if you have any question just please let me know okay Now the import statement. Import statement means I already told that we are defining the classes in this package and how we are going to use those classes means means like I told you in this package in Java T point we are defining the class called tutorials. Now uh, in my Java I'll define one more Java program and I'll write called package. I'll take one more here. I'll write here one more package called um, wait, I'll increase the point here. I'll write here package demo. Okay. And I want to use the tutorials package class of that uh, of which package? Java T point. In Java T point package, I have already defined a class, right? called uh, tutorials i want to use this in this package then how i can use by using the statement called import 
we are going to define the package contain many predefined classes and interfaces. Every package may have multiple classes and interfaces. If you want to use those any classes of particular package, we need to import that class. Import. We, know, uh, we all know this word import, right? We are importing some branded things from other countries or from other XYZ, right? Like the same way. Means importing means taking the thing or anything from other state or other countries to our side, like the same way we are going to take or use the classes of other packages into our program. The import statement represents the class stored in other package. This statement, the keyword or the statement import represents that class is stored in other packages. What the keyword will use? Import keyword in order to define or you want to declare that import statement, we have to use the keyword import to import that class. It is written before the class declaration, means we'll have the class definition, right? I already uh, shown you the how the Java code format will be there. In that class definition will be right. Before that only, we have to use this import statement, okay? After the package statement. And the import statement cannot be the before package. Means here, after package only, I can write here import. After package only, I can write import. I cannot write this the before the package also. Okay. Note this actually. You need to be aware of this. Like uh, uh, after pack before package can I import the class? No, not at all. After defining any package, if it is not like mandatory also to define any package, if you want, if you are going to define any user defined classes, means there is already so many built in classes will be there in so many packages like Java dot util Java dot uh, uh, some I O like that, right? If, mostly we are going to use our built in only. But when in real time applications, there may be a chances they, they have to define their, their own classes in their own packages. In such scenarios, the package statement they'll use. Otherwise, no need of this statement. Just directly, we have to use this import statement and we can start our class definition. Okay. We use the import statement in two ways either import a specific class or import all the classes of particular package. Okay, here we can import this in, uh, classes in two ways, like only the specific. I already told you here, right? I wanted to use this Java T point dot tutorials. Okay, means I'm going to use the tutorials class of Java T point package. This is the one way. Okay. And another way is I want to use import Java T point dot star. So what is this star represent means all means what are all the classes will be there or interfaces will be there in this package. Everything I can use, not only the tutorials, like if you have any like other classes, like Java tutorials, Python tutorials, or some AWS tutorials, Azure tutorials, like so many tutorials classes or practical classes, some so many classes will be there right in this point. Those are all can be used if you are going to use this statement in our Java program. If you want to use some specific class of that package, then we have to use this statement. You understood, right? Are you clear about this? This is the same example. Import Java util dot scanner means I'm going to use this scanner class of this Java dot util package. And I'm, what is this statement? I'm going, I may or may not use this scanner. I may use other class also of this java.util package. It represents the computer or the compiler that I may use any class of this java.util package. Okay. 
Are you clear? Everyone? Anyone please respond so that I can able to know. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. And interface. Uh, we'll explain, I think, uh, interface plans. I don't want to go very fast for this because I want to explain this uh, very clearly. Hmm. Now, let, uh, this five minutes, I want to take some questions for you. It means I want us, if you have any doubts, please ask me. I want to go, I want to go in depth for you in tomorrow class regarding this, or like a Monday. Please, any open questions? Anyone, please? Anyone, just raise your hand. I'll unmute them. If you, you have any questions? I'll ask you if you have any doubts or regarding this Java and everything. Please. No one? Means you are not listening. You are not an or you are not able to understand what I'm seeing. No questions? No questions, no understand. In earlier example, you have used import Java. So what is T? Import Java T. Where have I used that? Java T. It is not like only the Java T. Normally, import statement is to define. Java T is the package name. It may be the Java T. It may be some, I told you, right? It may be some demo or core Java, any name. That means what all the classes, I what is the package name we are going to define? Package, package name we will define, right? The package name here, the matters. Import Java package name. We have to give the package name here. There is no of concept called T. Just it is like a package name. Java T is a package name there. That's it. Are you clear, Sneha? Thank you for raising the question here so that I can able to know that you are listening. Anyone? Any more questions? And it's simple also because you are, it is not like if I ask the silly thing, it will be good or not. Don't think like that, okay? Because if you raise the silly questions only, then in future, it may be the big thing in real time, right? So don't think of it. this maybe the small or silly question. Anything, it is good. I'm appreciated there. I'll definitely ready here to answer them, okay? If not today, then you may note down any questions if you have also. Yeah, you can ask me in our next class also, okay? I'm ready to answer. Up to now, what I have said, it's clear to everyone, right? If everyone not understood anything also, let me know. I'll explain again. No issues, okay? Thank you, Chinna Reddy. Thank you. Now, let's wrap the class or should we wait for any questions? <laughs>